to any uh, to any narrative that does not con- to conform with the corporate owned political parties that uh, that are representing us in Washington D.C. I'll just give you a couple of examples. In West Virginia, every state is different. And one of the problems is that we can't even figure out what the rules are because the Secretary of State doesn't know them. And the Secretary of State and the websites give information that is not correct. So we have to have an entire staff that is constantly checking, constantly negotiating, forcing them to put it in writing in each state. Some of the rules are extremely, uh, I would say, extremely uh, laborious uh, for, and burdensome, deliberately burdensome. For example, in West Virginia, you have to register. It's just one state that does this where you have to register in every single county in the state before you start collecting ba- ballots at all. Uh, Massachusetts will invalidate an entire page of signatures if there's one stray mark on it. So, uh, and that gives the opportunity for the political parties to disrupt our ballot access by actually making those kind of marks on the pages after you know a, a signature gather has gone up. Many of the states have rules that require notaries uh, that um, that affect the uh the, the dictate minutia about the about the ballot signature gatherers uh, they have very constricted dates for example california has requires 219,000 signatures in 15 weeks so it's about almost 15,000 a week um new york has or texas in 11 weeks, has 113,000, so more than 10,000 a week. And they, they're, they're arbitrary and they're capricious about how they administer it. Uh, New York in 2020 raised the signature burden from 15,000 to 45,000 without lengthening the window of six weeks. So again, it's all designed to keep third parties from getting on the ballot. We are, you know, we understand the system. We've had to commit President Biden, President Trump are getting on the, are getting on the ballot for free. But it's going to cost us uh, somewhere around $15 million to get on the ballot. But we're going to be able to do it. And in the end, we're going to have an army in the field of very, very capable people like the ones you see here we're under leader. And we're able now to identify extraordinary leaders like Joe Cook. Um, and we're going to, this process is forcing us to build our army now, um, and we're going to have a better army on the street in the trenches uh, in November of 2024 when we need to do get out the vote. And that, in the end, is going to give us an advantage in all of these states. So 